Hey everyone, it's Jazz here. I've recently downloaded a great program called Coda 2. It's made by the software makers Panic. So if you go to panic.com slash Coda 2 or slash Coda, you'll be able to find it. And I used this program about a year ago, but I didn't really think much of it. So I downloaded it again and by the recommendation of my teacher. Um, and uh, I absolutely fell in love within the first 10 minutes. I don't know how I could live without it before. So I'm going to show you the feature that really made it great for me and what my my there are tons of great features in Coda, but the, my favorite te my favorite uh, feature is one called Clips, and it lets you basically what Clips is is it lets you write a block of of uh, text, a block of um, code, and then it lets you uh, you create a tab trigger for it. So basically, you create a trigger where you just write a simple thing, and then you hit tab, and it'll insert that whole thing. So if you're using one block of uh, it's really useful for if you're using one block of code and you're using it multiple times you can instead of typing it up every time you can just type in a short um, trigger and then hit tab and it'll create it so I'm going to show you a couple of the ones that I have set up already and I'll also show you guys how to create them so as soon as you go as soon as you uh, click clips over here I just have a simple document up and I'm going to go into general. There are a few set up for you, but I already set up these two. Basic page structure and basic HTML. So what basic page structure is, is it just creates a very, very, very simple HTML document. So, and I set that tab trigger to basic HTML. So I'm going to move this over here. And in this HTML document, I'll just save this out as clips.html. I can write basic HTML. All I have to type is basic HTML, hit tab. And it'll place my mouse cursor where in between the title tag, so I can write Giles is awesome. And then I can go down to the body, and I can continue writing my page. I also have one set up for a more advanced HTML page, which has the doc type in, so uh, it's XHTML 1.0 transitional. So all I have to type for this one is HTML page, and it gives me the entire HTML page, and I can continue writing my document. So how do you set these up in Coda? How do you make a new clip? So to make a clip, you're going to go into one of these things, site. These are going to be specific to your site, which are also very useful, but I haven't set these up just for this site because it's just a simple site. And global, these will work on any of your websites. So I'm just going to go into general, and I'll create a new one. And I'll just create one called uh, content block. And I have a content block that I use quite often, hypothetically. And it's just div with a class of content-block. And then inside that content block, let's close that off. Inside that content block, I want some paragraph tags. And then I want it so that when I type, uh, when I insert the clip, my mouse cursor goes in between the paragraph tags. So to do that, you put your cursor where you want the mouse cursor to go, and just hit selection placeholder. And then for the tab trigger, I'm just going to call this content block. So when I type content block and then hit tab, and hit save, let's close this. So when I type, uh, let's just do a basic HTML page, and when I type content block and hit tab, it'll create it for me, and I can just go on making my document. So these are really useful. A couple that I have set up that you might be interested in using are uh, I have basic HTML pages. It comes with the lorem ipsum one. I have a jQuery, a couple of jQuery ones set up. jQuery to link it in, and I have a CSS to link it in to link it to the document and stuff like that. So very useful. Uh, hopefully you guys download Coda and give it a try. You have a 15 day trial, which I'm using right now, but I'll definitely be buying it at the end of my trial. It's in excellent outstanding program so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye